Hey guys, it's Abby and I'm so excited to announce that today's video is in collaboration with Moda Kawa. They are a fashion brand that specifically focuses on selling kawaii fashion and they do sell other sorts of fashion styles as well but they really are known for their kawaii fashion. I am so happy and so fortunate to be working with them today and collaborating with them for today's video. Don't forget to use my code ABBY20 to get 20% off all your orders on Moda Kawa. I'll go ahead and leave it for you guys up here too so go ahead and see it. I'll also put it in the description box below so you guys can remember what the code is because honestly it'll really help out. I think it's probably saw the title of this video. This is going to be me trying to recreate um, clothing inspired by some popular Japanese fashion models. So I'm essentially going to be dressing like Japanese models. So let's go ahead and start off with the first outfit. So these are a few different Japanese models and I have been finding this like sort of pattern. They always wear this sort of like black shirt with a white Peter Pan collar. It is very, very common here. You guys can see on the screen. This is sort of like my inspiration. I feel like it sort of aligns with Larmy K fashion and maybe Jidai K fashion. I'm not really sure which one it would necessarily be belong to but it is a sort of a top that I saw very very frequently in this sort of style. A lot of Japanese models were shown dressing in this style and these models do model for brands like Lamy K things like that. So I decided to get this sort of setup from Molakawa. I really thought that this set would be so cute and it worked really well with this consistent style that I kept seeing in these Japanese models. It definitely reminds me a lot of like Larmy K fashion a little bit. I definitely feel like it's something you would probably find in like Ang Rouge, maybe Bubbles, things like that. I feel like this outfit is like so so cute. So it is essentially like a black sort of suit but it's very preppy and super super cute. I definitely would consider it to be more of like an elegant, maybe more professional yet still kawaii outfit. So the top is black. It's got these really nice golden buttons. Um, at the Top, it does have a Peter Pan collar and does also have sub pockets. I don't really feel like it's more of like an aesthetic style choice rather than something that you would, you know, I don't really think you'd put your hands um, in there. And actually, I don't think I would really have my hands there, but it's still a really cute set. And then it also comes with this really cute, almost like a black pencil skirt. It is very, very cute and very comfortable. Let me tell you, all the items that I got from Motakawa, the quality is really, really good. I decided to finish up the look with these really cute lace socks as well as these really cute little heels. I felt like it was definitely more of like a elegant, preppy moment. Definitely see myself wearing this something to maybe like a party or something like that. It's a very, very cute outfit. But I thought this was so, so cute. Definitely one of my absolute favorite outfits. I think I kind of recreated this look quite well, like compared to what all the girls were wearing. I think it was very, very spot on. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next outfit. This next outfit is inspired by Risa Doll. She is shown wearing this really, really cute floral print pajama set, looking very, very kawaii. I definitely feel like this color scheme, color palette, and this sort of pattern is definitely very Larmy K. She does dress in a lot of Larmy K fashion because she does model for the brand Larmy, that magazine. Such a cute magazine. And I gotta say that this sort of pajama set that she has is very cute and definitely very Larmy. So I decided to get this a really cute floral print pajama set from Molakawa. It is so, so cute. So it's sort of like a three set of items. It comes with like a little sweater or like a cardigan, I guess. And then a really cute tank top and these really nice sort of loose pants that are very, very comfortable. The material is very good once again and it's very, very soft. It feels really nice on the skin and perfect to sleep on. The actual top is really comfortable. It actually does come with these sort of like pads. So like you don't have to wear a bra. You can just kind of like put that on, which is honestly the best thing for a girl. Like I think the first thing you ever want to do is just like take off your bra as soon as you get home. I feel like this pajama is like really, really nice with that because you don't have to wear a bra. It already kind of has that little like pad that you would have on your chest area. And it's very, very comfortable. Honestly, this top is so cute that you could honestly wear it with like um, some cute jeans or a skirt, but it is a very, very cute. The entire the entire base of the color of the pajama set is like this cream white color and then it has this really beautiful floral pattern. The flowers are pink which is very cute and definitely reminds me of like a Larmy K pajama set. Pants are very very comfortable. The material is amazing. They feel really nice on the skin. It's just really nice kind of like loose material as well. I think it's very very cute and uh, one of my favorite pieces for sure. Now this item so happens to be one modeled by a model who models for the brand Larmy and you can find this on their Instagram page. I will also link like all the Instagram accounts that I mentioned as well as the Japanese models I mentioned in this video for you guys in case you guys are interested in finding all these pictures and where I'm getting this information from. 
But anyway, this top is so cute and it really reminded me of the top that I'm wearing right now. It is such a cute top and definitely lines with like Larmé fashion in my opinion. It is so cute and definitely something you would find in a shop in Japan. The top is this really nice sort of like knit material. It is white and it is very cute. In the front it has this really nice little like ruffle design on it. I'm not really sure what this would be called but it's got a really cute little like pattern going on here in the middle. And if you look at the top it comes with these really cute pearls that are kind of spread out as well as these really cute kind of medium size of black bows. This here reminds me so much of this top from the brand Larmé. I think it almost looks like not identical, but the pattern is very similar, like the color scheme and things like that. It just reminds me so much of this top and something you would find in Japan. I decided to finish off a look with this really cute black pencil skirt because I felt like it really worked well with the color scheme. And then for my shoes, I decided to wear the same sort of like lace socks you guys saw at the beginning of the video, as well as these really cute sort of like heels that I prefer to wear for more of like your girly, feminine, dolly looks. And I think this works really well for this style. I think it really finishes off the look. But I love this sweater. It is so comfortable. I'm wearing it right now. It's one of my favorite pieces from Molakawa that I got and it is so cute It's so comfortable and it's perfect for the fall and the winter time as well It is starting to get quite cold I really wanted to go with items that would keep me warm and cozy and this happened to be one of the items that I got and it feels so so comfortable guys I highly recommend you guys to get this item. It is so so cute and You can really wear it with different outfits It is such a neutral top as well that you can really pair it off with anything You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with other types of skirt with different patterns, things like that but it's such a cute item. So let's go on to the next outfit. So this outfit is inspired by the lovely Saito Nagisa. She is a J-pop idol and is quite popular. She is very, very kawaii, very, very cute. And I've seen her in quite a few like different YouTube videos as well as I think she modeled for the Larmé magazine as well, or at least I saw her on the official Instagram page. She's very, very popular. She's very, very cute. Let's just say she's quite popular. And when I saw this sweater, it really reminded me of what she wears for this, um, I think it's like her sage outfit for one of her performances that she did as a j-pop idol and it's reminded me so much of this sweater so i knew i had to get it it is a plain white sort of cream sweater and it has this sort of like sailor top kind of reminds me of like a sailor top that you would wear with like a sailor uniform it is so cute i love japanese school uniforms and so when i saw this top i knew it was right up my alley i love that kind of sailor design i just think it's so so cute it does come with this really really cute black bow and it's rather like a long sweater as well which i feel like it looks so similar to what saito nagisa wears her sweater is quite long and you can see it sort of looks like a sailor top the top and the bottom rim of the actual sweater does have this sort of like black stripes around it which are very very similar to what um, she wears and so I really thought that this would be a perfect item to sort of pair off now if you kind of zoom in towards the bottom you can see it seems like she's wearing either their shorts or a skirt I'm not quite sure what it is but something like that and so I really felt like I would be able to pair off some maybe some black shorts I wasn't sure Sure I do a skirt but I thought shorts would be a lot better because the actual top is quite loose so I decided to go with some shorts that are sort of similar to what she has at least the color scheme it seems like her shorts kind of have a nice pattern to them mine are just plain black shorts but I think it worked really really well now as for the shoes I'm not really sure what she wore for her shoes so I just decided to wear these really cute black heels that you guys have seen in my other outfits and then um, I also decided to wear these really nice sort of like cream colored socks so for this outfit I really wanted to finish it off and give that sort of like typical Japanese fashion look a lot of girls do use socks as accessories so I decided that these socks work perfectly. This top is so so cute in this outfit. It's perfect for like the fall and winter time as well. You can honestly just pair it off with some like leggings, maybe like a large coat but it's still like a really cute outfit because it's like a nice long sleeve. It's long, it keeps you really warm so definitely love this top. So this next outfit is inspired by Risa Doll. Now I've noticed that her and her friend, there are these images that I saw when they went to Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo Disney Sea. I think it was Tokyo Disney Sea that I'm thinking about it. They wore this really really cute like hat. I think it was like a fuzzy um, white or cream colored like hat and it kind of had like these Mickey ears and I saw this super super cute hat with like this sort of like long pieces I'm not really sure what you would call it but you can kind of tuck in your hands in it and it is so cute it reminded me so much of what they wore here I noticed though like um, a lot of girls who go to Tokyo Disney Sea or Tokyo Disneyland like Japanese girls will wear or Japanese models will wear these really cute hats like these big hats it's just very very trendy and so when I saw this one I thought you know what I have to get it to recreate the one that Risa has so I decided to kind of wear more like a white base outfit. It seemed like her friend wore something all black. She wore something that was all kind of white and it was kind of like a cute set. I think it was so cute and so I decided to wear this little hat 
thing with this really cute sweater. This is for like a cardigan thing that reminds me a lot of what Wonyoung wore. I think it's like really trendy. But anywho, it's really, really nice and perfect for like the winter time. I finished up the look with this super cute black A-line skirt that definitely gives me sort of like cute Japanese preppy vibes. And then I wore it with these really cute cream colored socks as well as these really cute sort of heels that I think definitely make an outfit look very cute. I have a variety of different black shoes, but I really felt like this, um, these shoes work really well with this outfit. But let me say that hat was definitely like, it definitely sold the show. It is one of my favorite, favorite pieces. And I'm definitely going to be using it a lot for the winter time and the fall season. It is starting to get super cold. And I really feel like that item is going to be perfect because it's going to keep my head and my ears warm as well. And it's quite fuzzy. I can put my hands in there. It's just such a cute item. I highly recommend you guys to get this item from Molakawa. It is so cute. And right now, I honestly recommend you guys to get it because it's going to start getting super, super cold. And getting something like that is really going to make your outfit look extra kawaii. I know that some people don't necessarily want to dress kawaii all the time or kind of want to implement kawaii elements or kawaii fashion elements into their wardrobe, but don't really know how to do it. So this item would work really well where you can wear maybe more casual outfit or whatever you feel comfortable wearing and then use that and it'll make it look extra kawaii. So just definitely one of my favorite pieces. And like I said, the material was so nice, so soft. Even my dogs liked it. As soon as I opened it, my dog kept sniffing and wanted to like grab it. I guess I thought it was like a plushie or something. I'm not sure my dogs love plushies. And he was just obsessed with it. But I had to take it away from him, but it's really like soft. It kind of feels like a plushie. It's just a really cute item. This next look isn't inspired by a particular Japanese model. She's just a popular Japanese Instagrammer. Um, I'll leave her Instagram here so you guys can see. And I'll also link it in the description box below for you guys. But she wore this super cute outfit. Um, and her skirt reminded me so much of the skirt I saw um, on Molakawa. So I decided that I would kind of recreate this outfit. It's also inspired by this other Japanese Instagrammer. Her style isn't necessarily as kawaii. I think it would be more like Korean fashion. But it's still very, very cute. So I kind of blended the two. But I decided to wear this really, really cute white top. Top that is still very feminine and very very cute and then I wore the really really cute skirt It is sort of like a light brown color Which is very similar to what this girl is wearing here and it comes with a belt So I wore it with the belt and I think it's so so cute I did finish off with some boots because I feel like it works really well for the season I decided to finish off the look with these really cute brown boots I think it worked really well because it like kind of is very similar to the color of the belt and It reminded me so I guess that's kind of how I combined both outfits What the girl was wearing here where she's wearing boots and this brown skirt Skirt. And then this other girl who's wearing this sort of like very similar pattern. I think it looks a lot very similar Just the color scheme is a little bit different hers is more of a khaki color mine's more of like a light brown and So I kind of blend the two where I wore boots from the other outfit And then I kind of wore that cute white top and the similar skirt as to what she's wearing here I think it's a very very cute style and it's just very nice um, Something I've been noticing a lot is that a lot of Japanese girls will dress in much more like casual fashion But will add a couple cute kawaii elements to their style. This may include like having a kawaii hairstyle and it is a fringe is very popular so just something for you guys to think about if you guys are interested in kawaii fashion but don't even know how to implement it into your everyday wardrobe maybe you want to dress kawaii fashion a little bit but not too much maybe these might give you guys some ideas on how you guys can still be part of the kawaii fashion community or day fashion community in a way that's a little bit more subtle and you don't have to really dedicate so much to a style that might be a bit too much for you it might feel maybe a bit uncomfortable dressing in a specific style so hopefully this helps you guys out but yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next outfit. So this outfit, I saw a bunch of different Japanese Instagrammers that are quite popular wear a white top with a gray skirt. I think one of the girls wore like a gray sort of dress, but I noticed this pattern. It was always like a white short kind of pure pan collar top or just a really cute white top with a gray skirt. And so here you guys can see the different girls I'm talking to you guys about. But it definitely reminds me of like sort of like preppy, Japanese preppy fashion. I think one girl to dress in sort of like a Korean fashion, like a Korean school uniform style. I think it's very very, very cute. I feel like it's another really great way to dress in Kai fashion, but another more subtle way of dressing in Kai fashion. It's still preppy and girly, but maybe not as over the top as other fashion styles. It doesn't require as many accessories. So I wore this really, really cute white top that you guys have probably already seen before. And then I styled it with this really cute gray skirt that I got from Molakawa. It is a very cute skirt. Once again, the material is really, really nice. None of these materials felt cheap at all. They felt like a really good material. And I think it's just a perfect like go-to skirt for any sort of look. I'm sure I'll definitely be able to create a lot of really cute preppy outfits, like not so they say if you do outfits or Japanese school uniform outfits with this skirt. And then I finished up the look with these cute white socks as well as these really cute, my kind of my go-to preppy shoe. 
shoes. I also did wear a cute sort of necklace that you guys probably saw at the beginning. It's just like a nice heart necklace that added an extra kawaii element to the look. Very, very cute and also quite simple. Let's go ahead and move on to the next look. This next outfit is inspired by a very popular J-pop idol. Her name is Mikana Yamamoto. She is very, very beautiful and I think her style is very cute. I definitely would say it's more like casual rather than necessarily kawaii. But I thought this outfit was very cute and once again, another very kawaii yet casual way of dressing. So you see the top that she's wearing. It is a very vibrant light pink color, which I thought was so, so cute. And so when I saw this shirt on Molakawa, I knew I had to get it. It reminded me so much of what she's wearing in this image here. Being very, very cute. And so I decided to kind of wear it the way she wore it, which is these really cute sort of loose jeans that she's wearing. They are kind of like a light denim color. And these are very kind of like your 90s jeans that I've been trending for quite a while. They're very, very cute. And then she finished up the look with these um, white sneakers. So I did the exact same thing. I wore this really, really cute white top, which honestly could work with like a really cute skirt. But I was trying to make a more casual outfit like she has in the image here. So I decided to wear the top with some jeans. Now if you look at the back of the shirt, it does have sort of like an open back a little bit, but it doesn't show that much. But it's still very, very cute and still a little bit more modest because it does cover quite a bit. But it does have a nice extra like little element there. Now I can wear it with these cute jeans. These are kind of like a light denim color. And then I decided to wear some white sneakers to finish off the look. Definitely a very cute yet casual outfit. The way she sort of styled this look, she has her cute fringe and her long hair. I definitely do feel like a fringe makes it look like a lot more kawaii. So definitely this allows you guys to see that you guys can also dress kawaii but still more casual. So this outfit is very, very cute but yet still staying quite casual. So this is the very last outfit I'm going to be showing you guys. So for this outfit, I decided to get this top from Moda Kawa. It is a black top. I was trying to find something similar to what the model is wearing here. So she is a Japanese model. It seems like this was more of like an extravagant look that she wore. I'm not exactly sure what it was for. But it is a very very cool kind of like out there kind of outfit Not something that you would probably wear like I don't know going grocery shopping Like it's not really something you would wear for that It seems like it was more of like a performance Maybe for some sort of photo shoot I'm not really sure what it was for But it was definitely really really cute And I really wanted to recreate this look I just thought it was so so cute And so I was trying to figure out what top would work And I felt like this top would work really really well It definitely gives me sort of like K-pop idol fashion outfit Like for a stage I couldn't exactly you know create the outfit to a T like exactly Exactly what she's wearing in the image here. Try to recreate it with what I had. So obviously the top is a black top. It is really, really cute. You just have kind of like a open area at the top. I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of like a cut open a little bit so you guys can see a little bit of skin. I think it's still very cute and still quite modest because it's quite at the top here. I decided to also finish off the look with this necklace because she does have a lot of jewelry like around her body. I didn't have anything like that so I decided to just wear whatever jewelry I had. This is definitely quite like an interesting outfit. Not something that I would you know wear like I said grocery shopping or like I'm gonna go ahead and do some errands like I'm not really gonna wear something like that um this is definitely something I wanted to kind of try out it was definitely I think it definitely gives me more like a stage outfit or more like a for a magazine something like that so not something that you would actually wear out and about to hang out with friends I mean unless you want to but definitely more like out there and it's just something I really wanted to try out about her jeans they are ripped jeans it seems like she's wearing sort of like a bathing suit top and bottom something like that and so her jeans are very ripped they do have these really cool gems on them and I try to focus more on the color scheme over like the ripped jeans and things like that so I decided to wear the same jeans you guys saw in the other outfit these are more like a light denim color the thing was very similar to what she has and then I did wear these really cool wings I thought you know what I have the wings I can go ahead and try out this look it does have these really cute um, like black gloves that would work so well with the outfit I mean the whole outfit is so cute I just didn't have the exact items so it does appear a little bit weird I'm not gonna lie it is a weird outfit because I wasn't able to recreate it to a T like exactly what she has so I'm sorry about that. It does look a little weird, but um, I think it's still a cool outfit. I mean, not something that I would actually wear out because even what she's wearing, if I had the exact pieces, I probably wouldn't wear those out because it's just not something that you would... I mean, maybe I could wear it out. I don't know. It does something that I would feel comfortable with, though. It's definitely a really cool outfit. I at least wanted to try something new, something that I've never tried before. But either way, it was still a lot of fun to try to go ahead and recreate this look, even though it wasn't something that I would probably wear out. I really wanted to recreate something because, I mean, I said I had the wings already, and so I kind of recreated in the best of my ability with what I had. I think it was still a really cute outfit. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to thank Molakawa for collaborating with me in this video. Their fashion is so cute and the quality is excellent in these items. I love all the items that I got. They are so, so cute. So if you guys are looking for another shop to um, buy Japanese fashion, if you guys also want to dress like some of your favorite Japanese models, Japanese influencers, then go ahead and shop at Molakawa. I'll leave a link to the website in the description box below. Don't forget to use my code ABBY20 to get 20% off all your orders 
some and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys got some inspiration I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and really got to learn about some new cool outfits another cool website you guys can check out to get Japanese fashion as well as some cool influencers and Japanese models that you guys may never heard of I might give you guys some inspiration hopefully this is outfits allowed you guys to see that you guys can dress in kawaii fashion but something that's a little bit more casual not all you know over the top something that maybe is more manageable for you guys to dress in because I know not everyone feels comfortable dressing in kawaii fashion but you might want to so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys and you guys got to learn a little bit something maybe you enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel to become part of the kawaii family I'm trying very hard to reach 3k subscribers by the end of this year so you guys can help me and subscribe to my channel so I can make that dream a reality that would mean so so much to me thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to follow me at the official underscore abby on instagram i'll leave a link to all my social media accounts below in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and check them all out and follow me everywhere if you can thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye